Hello everyone, my name is Jesper, I'm from Astera. Welcome to the Bluetooth bridge tutorial. This tutorial will be about how to manage our Bluetooth bridges such as the Astera box, but also the Bluetooth bridge which is built in to our newer lights. As you probably already know, we always needed the Astera box connected with our Astera app to be able to control the lights with our Astera app. Of course, the connection here is Bluetooth between the box and the tablet and then UHF from the box and out to the lights. Now what we did with all newer lights such as the Nux bulb, the Pixel Brick and also the AX9 was to build in the Bluetooth bridge directly into the lights. So we can use a BTB light instead of the Astera box. Now it is important to mention that you have to be at close distance to the BTB light you are connected to. Of course it would never replace the Astera box. You can simply just clip it into your pants and walk around because there is a chance that you lose connection if you walk to far away from the BTB light you are connected to. Now let's take our pixel brick here and bond it to the Astera app as our Bluetooth bridge. Just keep in mind and remember that the procedure is exactly the same no matter what BTB light you are using. First things first, let's go here to the app, the three lines up at the right corner and then you also see there are no bonded Bluetooth bridges tab here to add some. So that's what we are going to do. Here it asks you if you want to add an Astera box or if you want to add a BTB light for control. So we are just choosing the BTB light for control. This little info box is just asking if we have blue moded the light so we also activate the Bluetooth. That's basically done by, by holding down the power button for three seconds until it blinks blue. As you see in the display here a little Bluetooth icon pops up and means that the Bluetooth module is active. So now in the app we can press the yes button. Now as you see here in the app our pixel brick has now popped up so we simply just press it and sooner or later a little pair box will come up just like this, so we can now press the pairing button and sooner or later it will be paired to the app. Now a little new info box pops up saying that we want you guys to change the default radio pin from 4 times 0 to a more personalized one. So we just press OK here and now also in the display you see the signal icons or symbols here popping up just letting us know that it is connected to the Astera app. It might happen sometimes that the connection has failed. If it fails, this little info box will come up. So please just follow the steps and then you will also be able to connect it again. Next step now is of course we can change the radio pin to a little bit more personal radio pin here not to interfere with anybody else. And then we can blue mode the other lights we want to have connected to the app. So now blue mode here. We can take our second Nux bulb like that blue mode them all and then in the app we simply just press pair with lights, press the OK, this little process bar will just be running. Once the lights stop blinking blue, they are actually paired to the app. Now both Nux bulbs have stopped so we can go here and just wait for the lights to pop up on the list of connected lights. Now, as mentioned before, it is all newer lights that have the Bluetooth bridge built in. However, in late 2021, we added the Bluetooth bridge feature to the Helios tube and also the Titan tube. Now, there are Helios and Titan tubes without Bluetooth bridge out there. Therefore, you can distinguish between the Bluetooth bridge and non-Bluetooth bridges behind on the sticker here. The Bluetooth bridge versions will have a BTB icon just like this one. The app can manage up to 10 Bluetooth bridges at a time. So basically, when, if you have a setup uh, at one place and another setup, you pair different Bluetooth bridges to the app and simply just switch between them without having to do the whole procedure of pairing a Bluetooth bridge to the app. Now the pixel brick here is already connected as our Bluetooth bridge with the Astera app. But let's imagine ourselves that we have two different locations where the pixel brick here controls one set and then we have another location where we have an Astera box controlling another set of lights. Let's start turning on the Astera box and then go here in the app on the three lines again. Down here below you will see manage Bluetooth bridges. When we press this one, you will see a little plus button up in the corner. When we press it, we will come back to the same dialog as we saw before, but now it's just an Astera box we want to add. Now it just asks you if we have turned on the Astera box. Yes, we have. So we can press it. 
Of course, here is a lot of Astero boxes, but the way we can see which box it is, the name is written on the label here behind, which is the one we have on top. Let's press that one. Sooner or later, it will ask for the Bluetooth pairing pin, which also can be seen on the little label behind here. So in my case, it's 001833. Let's press the pairing button. Now it's already paired, so we can go back and then you will also see the Astera box is the one having the control now. Of course, if we get too far away from it, let's say we go to another location, so we just want to switch between the Bluetooth bridges, we go to manage Bluetooth bridges and then we can, for instance, just press our pixel brick and then it will connect and that's how easy it actually is to swap between the different Bluetooth bridges. Another feature that comes on top of all this with swapping and managing your Bluetooth bridge is that we can save the radio pin into the Bluetooth bridge. The reason for this is if you have two different setups, you want to recall the radio pin once you swap to this specific Bluetooth bridge that controls a specific set of lights. First of all, we can go here at the currently the pixel brick it's with 50-50, so we can go here to the little arrow, then we can say manage this bridge, then we can say save radio pin. We can even label this little bridge here, room one for instance, go back and then you will see it's currently 50-50. Once you swap to this bridge afterwards, it will recall the exact same radio pin. At some point you might have been connected with a lot of lights and bonded it as a Bluetooth bridge to the Astera app. That also means that a lot of lights have the Bluetooth module active, which can create a bit of interference, but we can unbond the Bluetooth as well. In my case here, I have both the Nux bulb and also the Pixel Brick has been bonded to the app here. You also see it at the right side of the light icon that the Bluetooth icons are blue, which means that the Bluetooth module is active. If you have too many lights with the Bluetooth module active, it can in some cases fill out the Bluetooth space, so we need to unbond it. Let's say we only want the Pixel Brick to have the Bluetooth active because that's the one we use as a Bluetooth bridge. Then just go in the app here, for instance, with the Nux bulb. Then we can say unbond Bluetooth. Yes, we want to unbond. And sooner or later, you will see the little icon turning from blue to gray, which means that we have deactivated the Bluetooth. For the lights that have a display, you can also do it directly from the menu. Just find unbond Bluetooth, hit the enter button, and then you will also see that the Bluetooth icon is gone. So guys, that was everything about bonding the Bluetooth bridges to the app and also how to manage the Bluetooth bridges. Thank you for watching.